Hey, what's good, guys? This is Order of Opinion. I'm your host, Anthony. This is my co-host, Tim. What's up, guys? And today, we're going to be doing our podcast series on... We are starting our podcast series on the Star Wars universe, the SWU. Woo! Don't say it too close to that shit. You could be Soldier Boy out here. Oh, shit. In the streets. I got love in the hood, bro. Just living your life on Periscope. What's up with these motherfuckers doing that shit? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, so we're starting our series on the Star Wars universe. We're going to be ranking and breaking down every Star Wars movie, and we have done Rogue One already, the new release. That's episode 24. Check that out on iTunes. Got fresh hits. Um, yeah, subscribe so subscribe. you can get all the new shit and get this series as soon as we fucking drop it. Um, just don't feel rushed to listen to it. Yeah, take you your know? time, man. Take your time. Enjoy. Because we have other episodes. Uh, 1 through 14 for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So check all that. We did every Marvel movie, ranked them, and broke down each movie. Um, and the Harry Potter series, which is episodes 15 through 23, right? Yeah. So uh, check those out, too. Including Fantastic Beasts. Subscribe on fucking iTunes. Subscribe. All right, motherfuckers. And it's on Stitcher and SoundCloud. Uh, I won't say that fast this time, but for you know fucking iPhone, for now. folks. Go on iTunes if you got it and uh, subscribe and review all that bullshit or give us some fucking stars. Give us some Make feedback. Make us feel like a fucking kindergartner. Give us five um, stars, but tell <clears throat> us something shitty about us. And um, so we're going to be giving these movies a score out of a 10 point scale. And I am the host, so we're going to be going from my list, but Tim will be giving his irrelevant list also. With well, this his time scores. they're actually different. They are different this time. Uh, we disagree quite a bit. Star Wars could do that to you. Well, when uh, you're trying to wade through the shittiness that is most Star Wars movies, like how did people? And speaking fall of love? shittiest, we're gonna be going from shittiest to greatest. In this case, shittiest to solid. I uh, guess for me. Well, and if you include Rogue One, Rogue One was great. Rogue One was great. But we'll see where these movies go if they're great or the greatest. Um, so, my number seven movie, Anthony was Attack of the Clones. I know a lot of motherfuckers are going to say Phantom Whack-Ass Menace, um, Phantom Menace of Society. <laughs> I think this movie, I'll just be real, this movie might be a better movie. It might be an actual better movie. Um, it's just hard to chew. Let us know what you guys think, actually, well, what's your score? about that. Well, I gave it a 3.6. And I'll, I'll tell you why. I I uh, I I know it's a better movie than Phantom Menace, but I just rather watch Phantom Menace. And like I said, let us know your guys' opinions on it if you guys think. Because I know I'm gonna get fucking hated on for not taking <laughs> Phantom Menace. Uh, you could find us on Twitter. Let us know what you guys think. Um, follow us on Twitter too. Because we'll be put up our uh, schedules, the release schedules for all the episodes on there. Um, and you can like us on Facebook, and we put up our shit there on Facebook. So you guys can know when these episodes come out. Yeah, And, both and also both. let us know what you guys think of these movies, especially Star Wars. Because I know I'm going to fucking piss a lot of people off. So, so that being 3. said, 5. number Jeez. 7, Attack of the Fucking Clones, 3.6. Why? 3.6. I hated this movie more than Phantom Menace. Not that it was necessarily a worse movie. I just fucking hated it. Did you hate it more than The Hulk? Uh, no. No. Okay. It's See, a little bit better than The Hulk. I couldn't I, hate on it. I gave it a four. It okay. is actually number six on my list, so I think there's one shittier than this. Um, and I would agree. It is slightly better than The Hulk. Even with pacing. It's just garbage all around. Slow yeah. story, shitty my character. My fucking are my neighbors the Sonic <laughs> rolling against the fucking wall and shit. Right. What the fuck? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Getting the coins. The I don't know if you guys heard that, but if you did, just, we live next to Sonic apparently. <laughs> Sonic is always microwaving shit, <laughs> which we can hear right. in the booth too. Uh, go ahead, man. Oh what yeah. What were you talking about? Oh, I was just saying, like it's it's 
slow. A slow character development, slow story, like slow plot unfolding, yeah. slow fucking everything about it. Every even the They're, scenes dude, were like dragging on. Oh my god, like the hour in the second act. Or not even the second act. It's still the, like the first act. Yeah, just a long dragged out bullshit of Padme and Anakin fingering each other. Oh, going the up Jedi pivots. having a fucking circle jerk. Obi Wan talking about the clone army. Right? Like, and then, like, dude, it, it it didn't make... I mean, it made sense. It made more sense to me than some of the other movies. But I Good action scenes. Good action scenes. For the scenes. most part. And the plot wasn't, like, too hard. They sort of set it up so the plot wasn't, like, ridiculously hard to follow while still being a mystery. A mystery, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even with that... The dialogue, man, just, oh, my God. Oh, God. It felt like... I'd rather take the Phantom Menace fucking political butt-raping debate over... You know this bullshit, oh, God. Like I, I just what was he trying to do? This poetic, fucking wannabe Shakespeare bullshit that he was trying to pull, and it made the dude uh, Hayden Christensen that plays Anakin look like a shitty actor than he really is. They're like animals, and I slaughtered them like animals. I hate them. Like, I mean, I he probably could have been cool because I don't know what else he's in. Jumper. Okay. I like Jumper. Okay. It wasn't because of his acting, but I like Jumper. <laughs> See, and here's and... what I think the difference is. Okay. Is Phantom Menace had the same level of acting, but way less dialogue. So you didn't piss yeah. you off as much. <laughs> and it was more... Phantom Menace had that, like, scumbaggery feel to it. Oh, God. Qui-Gon was an asshole. Like, this one was just a real... Like, I feel like they were going for the blockbuster feel. Like, let's have pew, 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 everything, and then fucking... This love romance and then <clears throat> Anakin being a little whiny bitch. Like, right. He never trusts me to be a Jedi. Is he wrong? I wouldn't Obi-Wan trust Obi-Wan is a fucking old man hating, in my opinion. But is He's Obi-Wan hating. wrong? Because given some freedom, he, what does he do? He okay, murders I look at it like this. If you're a basketball coach and you have a super talented kid, like one of the most talented kids you'll ever have, but he's a kid that goes rogue. Are you going to try and limit him as much as possible so that he learns humility or are you going to try and balance that while giving him freedom? I feel like Obi-Wan just sort of like every time Anakin was doing something wrong, Obi-Wan kicked the dead horse. Yeah. Like he was always like, yeah, uh, sure, good one, young Padawan. But, hey, I know you went to save my fucking life because I fucked up. But, oh, you fucked up now, so good job, you little bitch. And don't give well, me that fucking little smirk, you rat tail fucking bitch. That was some shortcut, Anakin. He went completely the other way. Then we decided to come and rescue you. Good job. Yeah, so he I, does have the <clears throat> most... Ex- he has two rat tails. One on the side and one on the... Ba- What's the one on the side called? Because Obi-Wan made him do it. That's, because the Jedi are just... They have little boy slaves. They are weird. What? They, so like, if that's the hairstyle you have to have if you're a Padawan, what happens if you don't have hair? Do you have to like glue one of those side things onto you? <laughs> well, my bigger question is, why do they need to call him Master? Like, don't they just we call get all that? all of them Master. I know. Why? Because that's what you become as a master Jedi. But they they don't get what is implied there. Well, yeah, that you're like a servant. They of the are. Other Jedi. Yeah. yeah, it's like a priest in training, bro. But see, that's what I'm saying the though. Boys, well, they are priests. Yeah, they're Jedi priests. That's what they're officially called. I don't know that they reference it in this movie. I think they do in the original ones though. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I given freedom, what does Anakin go do? He murders a clan of people. Well, no, he listens to Padme and her fucking dumbass well, yeah. and all the fuckery. And then they go see Legless Lars and he murders sand people, which, I mean, yeah, he had a reason, but still, he murdered an entire <laughs> clan of people. They're not people. They're they, people. They They're raped aliens. and abused his mom. Yeah. I would do the same fucking Human thing. beings do that in certain countries. And I'd slaughter them too. Exactly. You rape and abuse my mom. Th- this is what I sort of feel about it. You, you get that Anakin is understanding what's wrong. I think that's what they're trying to make him more of like a sociopath, is that he knows what he's doing is wrong, and yet he just gives in because he's like, that's what I feel like doing, motherfucker. Well, yeah, he even like, thinks governments addic- should be a dictatorship. Yeah, how stupid was he? he, he they made him seem smart in the beginning, honestly. Because yeah. you, when you remember um, when they're protecting Padme while she goes and fucking fingers herself in her room... Um, <laughs> Anakin's like, yeah, she was, t- she didn't want me looking at her through the cameras when she was fingering herself. Like, she got mad I was <laughs> jerking off. And Obi-Wan's even like, trust me, dude, she she was pleasured to see us, you know what I mean, bro? Right. Like, and so anyways, but they start talking 
as she, as she's uh, diddling herself. <laughs> um, they're talking outside of her room about politicians, and even Obi Wan, after all the shit he went through with her in Phantom Menace, was like, "We still can't trust Padme. She's a dirty, fucking, rotten politician." Right. And even Anakin's though- like, "Dude." You're overgeneralizing. Like, there is probably some good politicians, you jackass. Like, well, he says that you're overgeneralizing where he's right. And then he's like, and you know who's a great politician is it Senator Palpatine. He's the best. He's so nice. Yeah. He's not shady at all. Nothing goes over his nose. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> he's just fucking He has schnoz. that Alfred Hitchcock nose. He has the fucking... One dollar Costco snossage, bro. He's the motherfucker from uh, get a drink with that shit, a free drink. <laughs> He's got that Fonzie Muppet nose going on there, and he looks like he was on Seinfeld for too fucking long. He's like, I don't know why I turn evil. And then Couldn't take Kramer's shit anymore. His assistant has like floppy dildo hair. What's up with yeah. that? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, that shit looked gross, man. I don't, I don't even know what to explain that dude looking like that he, blue motherfucker. He looks like he sits there and he plays with the tips of them. Yeah, he does. Yes. Yeah, he's ill. Like, Ew. Yes. Yeah, that, I'm going to create a good republic. Dude, he looks like the Simpson aliens, how they had sex. Yeah. He probably yeah. uses that for sex. That's his antennas with his wiener. Right. Um, He had an Audi, too, on them. <laughs> uh, what, was it? what the hell is that? You, you fucking Dick Dashley's dog now? All right, that was way too much of a tangent. But uh, Star Wars, Attack of the Clones, right? Who won the wacky race in this episode? <laughs> this movie fucking sucked. It was it bad. It sucked. I don't even like the movie enough to, like, care yeah, about it, wa- wanting to The talk. only thing I did like, Obi-Wan's mullet. Yeah, that shit went hard. His video game fucking Mortal Kombat flying Bro, attack kick. Bro, what the that fuck? Was raw. The Jango Fett-Obi-Wan fight, raw. Uh, the initial action scene when um, uh, Obi Wan grabs the, uh, the droid in mid air. Yeah, that shit was raw. sick. But it was video gamey, but raw. Yeah, I'll it take was it. just well directed. Like he he really took his time in the action scenes, but obviously didn't take his time with the fucking dialogue, the script, or whoever. And I don't even not pretend, and I'm not gonna research who did what. But fuck George Lucas. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, so, and I think you can't hate on the CGI. <laughs> too too much because of the time period like yeah, granted, yeah. I don't have a benchmark to compare it to I don't to. know how much better it was than Phantom Menace though oh, honestly oh god a lot I, better Phantom but Menace some parts though looked as bad as Phantom Menace some parts like when when Anakin was gonna go fucking murder the whole uh, the Tusken Raider people that fucking raped his mom yeah when he was the CG oh, on that god. oh my or god Dooku I thought I was speeder. playing a fucking 99 1999 game on my Windows yeah, PC it was, it, was, it was fucking Dark Forces which was an old Star Wars game it looked exactly the fucking same like and I played that shit on a 99 <laughs> computer so but yeah but for the most part I was somewhat entertained it's where it lost me to Phantom Menace is that fucking hour in the middle of the movie that it's just like I wanted oh, to shove fuck. a spike dildo in my fucking ear. Oh, like, flea fuck. Hearing them have their dumb picnic and finger bang each other and him riding the giant tumor, floppy fucking... tick or whatever the fuck that was. You need to pour some fucking iodine on that shit. Get that motherfucker gone. Um, Why is two Anakin so raw yet he's so whack? Well, he's stupid. He couldn't fight bug people. He lost to bug people. He lost to bug people, but he can, he can fly or like Asians. a... I, Flying I, Asians in, okay. in, in George Lucas Star Wars world. In George every Lucas, <laughs> it's in George Lucas Star Wars world, world, every creature to me is a stereotype of a Jew or an Asian. Yeah, well, he, bro, he grew up in Marin, <laughs> and he's a Jew, and he's a and Jew. He's a Jew. <laughs> yeah, like Can I mean, we say Jew? Are we allowed to say that? Unless they stop us. <laughs> Ain't no FCC on a podcast, bitch. <laughs> Uh, every fucking animal, especially the ugly ones, are Asian. What? Everything that looks like a fish or a bug is an Asian. Except Don't for, fucking tell me it's not. It's the weird Jar Jar, well, the Gungans. They're either like Hispanic or fucking like Jamaican or sort of Asian sometimes. And, I don't get it. And even the fucking Viceroy, bro. E- they were saying it was oh, terrible God. in the Phantom Menace, but even in Attack of the Clones, they were still like, oh, the, the Federation, you can't do, you killed Padme. We don't kill him. I chop my little dick off and throw it in your face. This is a terrible plan. <laughs> yeah, no, it was bad. And it yeah. seems like he specifically goes against 
Asians in this. Yeah. Like different types too. Like it's well thought out racism. <laughs> Yeah, right. Like you got the island Asians. Yeah. You, you got the in city Asians. You have the urban Asians. Okay. That's not really specific. It is. No, but like, I mean, uh, like the viceroy is like Japanese. Yoda's like clearly a little a Filipino, Filipino guy. Man, yeah. yeah. An old Filipino man. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, the flying people. With hair out of his ears. He has hairs out of his moles too. The flying Fuck. bug people are like Cambodian or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're Cambodian, and then you, like you said, you got the Gungans who are some fucking form of fucking form. islander. Just they're racist. Islanders. It's just racist. <laughs> like you can, even and, though, and that's my other point too. Why, especially in Phantom Menace, and we'll, we'll talk about Attack of the Clones eventually. But why there are is everyone somehow living in the water or like around the water? Because it's on one planet that's mostly water. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess. Like, how are the Gungans not kings of that planet? And what's up with the fuck? See, this is where I think. This is where I think the old ones, why people like it better than the new ones, the mm. prequels, is for some reason they got rid of the American fucking scumbag, dirty, you know, criminalized, <laughs> everyone's a jackass but, world yeah. in the old Star Wars. In this new Star Wars, it's all priesty Jedi shit with politics, right? right? Like, all this, like, you know, it somehow becomes British other than Samuel Jackson. You got a little Filipino green man, Samuel Jackson, who's the most athletic uh, Jedi, Jedi for sure, when they show that shit. Nothing implied there, but he's fucking athletic as fuck. He's well, doing, he, when he does the well, maybe front Yoda. flip and deflects lasers at the same time while being shot off of a balcony. Yeah, that's And he flipped tight. over the fucking third degree burned rhino. Yeah, and he, I think he literally took his jacket off mid air too. Like, Jesus. And guys. he has the purple lightsaber. And he, because so. that's that's Samuel L. Jackson's favorite color. Um, but yeah, so it it like became like British. Somehow. Except for that little lispy kid. <laughs> it's like where I just I didn't understand where the speak came from. Star the initial Star Wars was way funnier and better, other than the Luke shit, which was Jedi shit. So my question is to you, the old ones didn't have as much Jedi shit. Barely any. No. Other than the Sith, which is always cool, right? Does these prequels get hurt by them focusing on the Jedi? Here's what I think. I think that Star Wars is an allegory. The prequels are an allegory for the Civil War. And the Jedi, right? Okay. If the sp- I'm hearing there's you. part of space is the South, right? Yeah. The Jedi were the slave owners. And they made everybody more educated. But, much like what actually happened in the United States, the South just became hillbillyish and roguish. And that's what we see in the later Star Wars, <laughs> is they became poor hillbillies. <laughs> yeah, they, they were hillbillies. And, you know, a lot of the problems with me with the movie is that a lot of the things felt forced. The oh, romance yeah. was forced. Him and Obi-Wan having, like, a beef was even sort of forced. You know, it's like this This fool's had, like, he literally has had a 10-year boner just waiting since he was eight. He's like, I, I get so many wet dreams of you. I just, it's intoxicating oh. for my, I just sometimes I, I pluck off a pube and I just wait for that pain because it doesn't want to scar me for that kiss you gave me. Every every time you looked at my little boy penis when I was eight years old, like, oh. sometimes, sometimes I fucking forcefully rape C-3PO just to get that feeling again. Sometimes I stick my lightsaber in my ass and fight with it that way while I'm thinking about you. I take those lines any, over any of the bullshit he said. I'm haunted by the kiss that you should never have given me. My heart is beating, hoping that that kiss will not become a scar. Any of that Star bullshit. Wars would be awesome if they made it like a dirty comedy. Right? I don't. But yeah, I agree. Even They even forced fucking Samuel L. Jackson to not sound like himself. <laughs> like, which is like, no movie's ever done that. Right? So, but he sure was flipping around like a fucking G. He was a fucking. He was throwing up gang signs. He's got. He got the pizzer. I didn't get how shitty some of the Jedi were. 
Like, like that one seem... fucking Ursula from Mermaid looking motherfucker flipped onto the shit. Jango Fett, like, just pew pew twice. <laughs> dude dies. Didn't deflect any lasers. And then Jango Fett does this fucking western, like, blows on his fucking gun and twirls it around and puts it back. I was like, what the hell? Isn't he Hawaiian? Right. He ain't doing that shit. Well, I, I, I don't get it. Or Samoan. I don't Some know. Some form of... He's, he's a Polynesian. He's Polynesian. <laughs> he's definitely Polynesian. You just you just wanted me to say Polynesian. They, they had all the clone... All of the clones are Polynesian. Like, they were sitting around carving shit and fucking... Eating poi and sm- smacking on drums. Uh, doing fire dances and shit. Um, oh, shit. For white people's entertainment. <laughs> They're lounging around <laughs> uniforms, a hula skirt. I don't know how much we'll be able to keep of that, but anyway. Uh, so well, like, technically they were, because most of the Jedi were white. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of shit. Like I said, why is the George Lucas world just Asians and whites, and then a sprinkle of black people? Like, there's nothing to... And then they all of a sudden have British accents now. You yeah. Know? The clone army. Clone army. This is Obi Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker. Can you hear me? He said his full fucking name like all the time. Like he can just be Obi or Obi Wan. Hi, I'm Master Obi Trice. Uh, yeah. So uh, what the fuck was it? Oh yeah. So all the clones are fucking Polynesian. That's funny alone. Um, all the bug and, people are like they're they're Tibetan. And here's why Jango Fett is the rawest character maybe in Star Wars, for the simple fact. That on top of his fucking dough that he's making just for his sperm and his cells that the fucking weird Caminos were extracting from him. <laughs> they just had one of the fucking weird Camino people just jerking him off for his fucking... Yeah, I, I didn't get that. Why did they yeah. need to keep him around? It seems like technology would be more... And like whatever. acting like he's the main like trainer On top of his sizable right. salary. Um, and, and then he chooses, on top of that, all he wanted was a clone of his own... So he can raise himself again? To be raw. Like, what a sick dude. What this he... motherfucker said, I want my kid to be myself. I'm going to raise myself. Yeah. And make him be a more of a scumbag than fucking I am. Yeah, fuck, fuck <laughs> a Boba Fett movie. Let's make a Jango Fett movie. I want to understand that character. Because that shit was sort of out You there. got him, Dad. Fire! Fire! Yeah, he was I'm teaching his kid to kill fucking people. Fucking Lilo and Stitch ass character. Like, this guy doesn't take the hint. Yeah, um, yeah. so th- I just think some of that shit's funny, but, oh my god, was this movie fucking slow, dude. But so, the action was alright. So, it's still garbage, and I hate it. I fucking hate this movie. I will never fucking watch it again. I don't uh, think I ever will either, to be honest. So, so it starts with that homoerotic script text. That pops up for Star Wars. Oh, God, always. I don't even bother to read that shit I don't shit read anymore. it. I didn't write notes on it because I don't read it. I don't read not, that shit. How do people not call that out more? Yeah. Hey, let's just not show you, like, shit that probably should easily connect things. Um, when you're doing them uh, years apart, you know, it's like, hey, here, we could have had a middle movie for this whole part, but we'll just do it in three paragraphs. <laughs> and not make it amusing at all. Because this whole, uh, the whole prequels are about fucking... Right? Politics. And Let's make it awkwardly bureaucrat- slow. Bureaucrats and shit like that. You're like, bro, what the hell? And you're sitting there for like the first 15 minutes of the goddamn movie trying to read, and you're like, fuck, this is boring as shit. <laughs> right? Or at least make it easy for like old people to read. They like That's make that shit do. fly a little too fast. It's a little too fast to it's me. It's a little too slow That's for me. It's a lot of writing for me to read in one long paragraph and me to care about it. I can't read an email past fucking six lines. <laughs> And that's how stupid I am. I'd rather say lines than sentences. <laughs> no, it's but, true though. That's just, it's it's too much. And then you're like, wait, who doing what? Count Dooku? Like yeah. who? Who? Like he, they got him from BBC. They fucking pulled him out of Luther, and he was like, hmm, mm-hmm. I talk like this. Mm, Obi Wan. Obi, what a shame. Sorry, Obi-Wan. my powers are better than yours. I've raped more boys in my life. That's and why I have this curved lightsaber for my curved penis. That that's, right. He's <laughs> like, and now. We cannot settle this with our mastery of the force, but instead a mastery of our dicks. Or the mastery of the fucking CGI. The saber battle. 
Yeah, I, I think that's what I'm over with the prequels. Like I said, it's just a, it's a CGI butt fuck fest. That's all it is. Yeah, the, and, it's um, too un like it makes it so ungrounded. No fucking room that they're ever in is real. Like, yeah, like it's at a video all. game. It is a video game with people in it, which might make it worse <laughs> than an actual video game. I'd rather just play the game. And they they so they open <laughs> so they open up. Um, the movie with a B-52 fucking Star Wars version um, flying around. And, uh... Well, the, no, they had the a... Fucking... They had... Uh, oh, no, you're right, you're right. It yeah. was the fucking Well, they B-52. show the penis head helmet, which Star Wars loves. They just love dickhead helmets. They do love... funny. Dude, everybody's got one. You didn't know? Because, <laughs> though, they have M. Bison with the dickhead helmet. What, what was that? A security force, I guess? I, I don't know. I don't understand any of their security. I don't understand the Empire security forces. They're garbage. Is that Naboo? I guess we should explain a little more. It's a B-52 with fucking uh, Padme on it. Queen. Yeah, well, no, uh, fake. Well, if pay, Padme and fake Padme. Padme. Is that fake Padme? Is she still using a body double like a bitch? Yeah. No, no, it's Padme and Geisha Pan, Padme. Yeah, that's right, because she's she the one. She always looks like a fucking Geisha, bro. Padme's yeah. the one with the penis helmet. Yeah, and she always talks like this. Dude, and... But when she's Padme, she's like, hey, what's up, guys? I'll stand up for you. But then the Queen Amidala is like, I'm going to talk like this. Chown as close to Snape as I can. <laughs> it's true, it's though. It's like, um... And it's like, That oh. was in the first one, obviously. Or, no, more along the line of the first one, because in this movie, they show it's a goddamn, um... It's a Bollywood. It's playing Queen Amidala now. That's right. They got a Bollywood actor. Um, well, what I don't get to is like, so you already revealed in the first movie that she uses body double. Now this one you just have, which I mean, I'm not trying to hate, but fucking Star Wars primarily just has dudes in it. So when you see a female bodyguard for Queen Amidala, you're like, ah, there, there she is. It's not even fucking, no mystery there, no tension. Yeah. It's just garbage. And well, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. So like, they explode, and it's this boring ass explosion scene, right? <laughs> you know, nothing happened. You She's know, like I'm sorry you had to die because I don't, I can't fit, like be strong enough to face my own death. And so Padme has to meet the Jedi and the rest of the fucking scumbag politicians, and she's sort of like, why the f- who the fuck is trying to kill me? Um, it's probably Dooku. They gave away the story in the first minute. Pretty much. Like, <laughs> Although Jar Jar was rocking the fresh fit now. <laughs> is, Dr- is Jar Jar like their drug dealer? I think like, so. I don't get how he keeps staying around. He's I like, think Jar Jar, is, they grow that good good He's like, I got water. muy muy perps. <laughs> Come, Annie, smoke this blunt. <laughs> yeah, because somehow they make this Jamaican alien dude look high. Because he does look high as fuck. And he he's does. always walking around like he's loopy and shit. He's, he's always like... like uh, <laughs> he's like halfway... Because when you're in the water high, I guess that feels dope. Um, I guess. <laughs> he's smoking a lot of dope and growing it. So, yeah, he's selling weed to, like, all the politicians. I think that's why they keep him around. Because who the fuck is taking Jar Jar being seriously? I don't but think But then when you do. think about it, it's like they got fucking Cookie Monster on the Senate. And <laughs> fucking E.T. And, and Remember, E.T. was in that shit. E.T. was in that shit. There was a Cookie Monster-esque <laughs> dude. There were some fucking, like... There's toenails that there, live and shit like that. Bro, there's a there's a tooth attached to a robot body that has a dial on its chest. And don't forget the greatest um, stereotypical Jew <laughs> that they make. The uh, <laughs> what are they, I can't, I kept saying the Jew clan, but what was the clan? The guy's like, we all sign your treaty. Oh, the ah. fuck! It was literally like a bank, a clan of bankers or something like that. Their banking clan will sign your treaty. Uh, uh, so, yeah, but they're, of course, the Jedi are garbage and the dark side is stronger, which, you know, they do kind of like, well, if you know Star Wars, you know that, that the dark side is stronger, but it's not sustainable. That's yeah. That's always like the thing, right? It's always more powerful, I guess. And the Jedi are stupid enough to Although be Yoda like. Although Yoda is the most powerful. I don't get it. Uh, maybe. Uh, so is he dark? I mean, they say the best can balance both. No, because he can't balance both. This is what I well, don't get. They talk right? about balance in the Force, right? <laughs> they talk yeah. about balance in the Force, right? But then they're saying, like, there can only be two Sith Lords and 106 Jedis. Like, so are Jedis just that weak compared to Sith right? Lords? 
Because apparently one dude with a, a double-sided dildo sword can beat up two Jedis and almost kill them both. I killed one Jedi Master. And just because he's a cocky asshole is the reason why he got killed. Yeah. And we'll talk about that. But So you see Anakin being a bitch, and he's yeah. like, why isn't she happy to see me? Right? And, and even, like I said, Obi-Wan was a pervert. He's like, lifts his eyebrow, he's like, oh, dude, trust me, she was pleasured to see us. Like, you want to deep here at some point? Yeah, because even... <laughs> and right. Anakin is like, there's, he just does this thing now, where he's like, starts off talking about something, then immediately gets pissed off and whiny and emo about but, it. But like I said, is that Anakin's fault, or is that Obi-Wan's leadership? Because they also show that it's not only that Anakin is a fucking sociopath, it's that Obi-Wan is kind of like a shitty pothead leader. <laughs> yeah, like, but Obi-Wan's over it. He got <laughs> fucking Anakin forced on him. He's like, fuck, I got to take care of this whiny bitch. But it seems like he's always like trying to call him out just to make sure he's quote-unquote humble. But Anakin you know, it, does do some shit. But in a way, is Obi-Wan not a little jealous of him? I think he, I mean, I think naturally you would sort of be. He doesn't get pussy. <laughs> He can't own things other than his lightsaber. Well, you know, I mean, they the can Jedi's own have clothes. no life other than being Jedi's. How do they always wear the same clothes? I don't know. Do they not get other clothes? Because they don't, they don't like come on themselves or nothing. Jedi don't so sweat. They never have to change. Do they use the force to kill bacteria? Is that what happens? They probably don't need to shower either. That's what they do. They just use the force and pull out dirt of their fucking pores in their skin. Well, yeah, because as you see, if you just, as a Jedi, if you don't feel like walking, you can just get a fucking chair that does that for you. <laughs> a floating yes, fucking chair. A floating chair. fucking chair. Uh, but yeah, but then at the same time, that same guy can flip around 450 times in a span of two seconds. Yeah, so. I didn't get that. But yeah. So the most athletic one might be Yoda, which would make sense because Filipinos are athletic. They're just small. Yeah, he's a great basketball player. Until he was like 10 and everyone got bigger and he was garbage. Uh, no, yeah, no, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, he he's, you know, Yoda was the wackest thing about the movie, but we'll get to that. Um, so they're saying the dark side is balking their fucking force and they can't tell if it's Dooku. So Padme was right. She was right. She called the movie and was right. She yeah. was like, it's Dooku. Can you guys go look for him? They could have been doing that the whole time instead of going through all of this fuckery, which I guess benefited because they got the clones. Sort of, but that's set but up. They were sitting around fucking flailing fireballs and fucking. It doesn't. No, it doesn't actually benefit them to have the clones at all. So the reality. Well, yeah, in the long run. Yeah, so because reality... you see Palpatine's chess moves. Yeah, do which that. are pretty cool. In I mean, this movie, they sh- they sort of hint it a little too hard. Yeah, way but too hard. It is what it is. It's a, it's not well. This wasn't a Disney one. That which might. But you can even it. tell before they sort of reveal Darth Sidious that even as Palpatine, he's just you could just tell that he's a scumbag. And Padme, like, <laughs> and they all trust this fool. Yeah, except for Padme. She's like, or no, not Padme. Obi Wan. He's like, dude, I've seen how fucking that fool plays the the Senate. Yeah. When Anakin says, "Oh well." You know, fucking Palpatine's this great guy. Yeah. And, and like, why does he suck him off? Because why? apparently they've been having secret liaisons. That's my point, though. They don't show that shit. Well, they've been tickling each other's buttholes. <laughs> I have said it many times. You are the most gifted Jedi I have ever met. So it's like, oh, he's so good. <laughs> well, yeah, well that, at least with Palpatine, um, you know, he takes one guy all the way to the top till they die. You yeah, know, he'll start raping you as a little boy, and he he'll, he's going until you die. He's yeah, pretty much, yeah. and um, even when you got weird leather skin, you have to sit in an egg all day. Um, and he's smart as fuck. He assigned <laughs> he assigns Obi Wan to Padme, which I'm assuming he thinks will bring Anakin to her because he knows Anakin will love her, and knows this will fuck all this up. Yeah, because the reason they have to have That's sketch though. But see, the reason, I think what they're saying is the reason they have to give up all these possessions is because when you possess stuff like a family and things, if something happens to them, like when his mom dies, you lose your shit. You can't handle the fact that you have all this power. I know, but I'm saying they haven't seen each other for 10 years unless she is having statutory dreams. (laughs) Palpatine just kind of set this up like he knew this. Pretty much. He probably felt it in Anakin, I guess. And that's where the Force always just can, like, clear out convenience. Because you could all... This is why it's so smart. Because the bullshit that you see in Star Wars, you're like, oh, well, it's the Force. So... And some... It's, ma- <laughs> and some it's, it's people worse use, than magic. Yeah. Because some people use the Force differently, too. 
Yeah. So they're like, oh, well, Yoda can sort of sense what's coming, but you can't. So Yoda will tell you because we need someone to tell you how the plot goes. Right? <laughs> so that's weird. So, like, yeah, so Anakin, like you said, he's having a fucking panic attack in the elevator. He's like, oh, my God, will she notice me? Ooh. And they're implying that he's in love with her. Okay? Rushed, forced, bullshit. Right? And then they meet Padme, and they're sort of like, hey, yeah, we're, we're here to protect you. And Padme's like, look, I'm going to fuck up this whole plot because I already know what, what happened. <laughs> I already know who it is. So I'm just going to be a bitch, and I'm going to tell you guys right now that uh, um, you need to find the killer. And Anakin's like, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, and Obi-Wan's and he's like... twirling his fucking rat tail around. Yeah, Obi-Wan's <laughs> like, bro, that's not our job, you idiot. He's like, we get orders Stop from Stop speaking out, ups. bitch. Yeah. But, but then again, he's in his ear. He's in his ear, but then the way Anakin comes back at him, he's like, well, bro, it's obviously implied. And Obi-Wan's they like... They just have these little bitch fights. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's it worse than sense. Weasley and Harry and Harry Potter. It's worse because it's just constant. And Anakin, oh, yeah. like a little bitch, always thinks that Obi-Wan's jealous of him. He thinks everyone's jealous of him because one day he'll be invincible. Right? That's what he keeps being told. Right? Um... So, and he, he's all but her that she doesn't notice him enough. She's like, I, she didn't even look at my dick this time. Like, even as a kid, she was looking at my little wiener. Yeah, and he's like, he's bro, like, why is her door closed? We're supposed to be watching her. And he's like, uh, she got tired of me jerking off in the corner. <laughs> he's like, oh, R2 will take care of that, which he clearly doesn't. <laughs> he cleans up Anna, Anakin's semen? Yeah. Or what are you, what are you saying? Cleaning up? No. She <laughs> R2's going to uh, take care of the that's security. That's fucked up if that's what Anakin makes him do. Well, it is his robot. He probably isn't allowed to jerk off. I wonder if they are allowed to jerk off. I'm sure that you have to let them jerk off. Yeah. Yoda's jerking off. Does That's why he's so small. He jerks <laughs> off so much he, like, shunk from he's the shrunk. semen. Losing all he's shrunk. He's, like, 600 years old, too. So he probably was, like, six foot at the beginning of his life and just became fucking two feet. He's one of those dudes that'll... He, Yoda's one of those, like, creatures that will look the same as they've, like, rotted out for ten years, <laughs> as if he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah then they show some fucking bounty hunter right fucking uh, uh yeah and J- well they saw we see the Django Django but yeah. some other bounty hunter chick they don't he even he was like praying in Hawaiian I think <laughs> he was using all 12 letters He's eating some pork and uh and uh he talks to this white chick who's like a chameleon air <laughs> Yeah. She's a chameleon, right? Well, She's wrapping like around, fucking riding dirty in her fucking spaceship. <laughs> she was riding hella dirty, though. The gat just came up right off the side, bro. Uh, it's like that umbrella and, in the fucking and, and Phantom. They slip them some fucking grub from Lion King. Poisonous yeah, grub, weird, apparently. Poison dildos. Um, I wrote in my notes, Anakin is 18, to clarify that she wasn't technically a statutory rapist. Was I he, just wrote it randomly. Was he 18? He said 10 years. He was 8 when he was Anakin. When he was Anakin. He was 8 when he was a little bull cut <laughs> fucking slave. Uh, but the one when he's an emo with the rat tail. I don't, bro, honestly, in this one, I like 8-year-old Anakin better. I don't know. Yeah. I li- like, he, like... I, I even think they showed how raw Anakin was better in Phantom Menace. Because, like I said, Attack of the Clones, they want to show him be vulnerable, too. So, like, he loses to fucking Asian bugs. Yeah, well, and that was just because of stupidity on his part. But, yeah. but they show how stupid he is, though. Yeah. You know? Well, he's an idiot. But he doesn't get a chance to shine. Because Obi-Wan's all over there fucking in his ear trying to limit him all the time. Well, what they show So, of course, me. you're going to think too fucking hard about shit. And, and Anakin's, like, he's sort of crazy. Like... It, uh, in this, uh, well, we'll talk about that. But he, um, so essentially, like she wanted to stay in the room alone. Padme, she wanted yeah, to stay so in the room alone so get... she could flick her bean. <laughs> but that's um, when the dildo bugs come. Yeah, and the, yeah, R two is useless. R two doesn't do shit. And they He's come just like, in, bloop, bloop, and like does nothing. They come and, in and pull out their lightsaber dildos and uh, smack the dildos off. Yeah, and uh, at, yeah, after they had their little bitch argument again, another about bitch politicians, argument, right? Again. Always just having bitch arguments. And uh, then they, um, the little droid that dropped off the grub, who apparently needs to watch her get poisoned. I guess. Oh, no, I think the white girl was controlling it, wasn't she? No. Well, sort of, but just I, not, don't, I don't think Whatever. she was sitting there and Obi-Wan actually. does a super athletic move. Maybe they were up. just really trying to show how athletic Jedis are. Because well, there's a lot of jumping later, and shit yeah. going on in this movie. 
He flies out the fucking window, grabs this robot, and is riding it. Like, granted, I actually like this scene, even though I fucking hate the movie. This scene is actually pretty dope. And He's Anakin... flying around on it. She has the super shot of all time, just snipes the droid. With the gun that of... comes out of the side of her car. And Obi-Wan, being the ungrateful prick he is, when he made an impulsive move, Anakin saves his fucking ass by thinking, he's like, hey, I'll hop in this crazy taxi fucking... Uh, Machine, whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, he's like, took you long enough. He's like, sorry, I had to find a car that would... Th- you didn't instruct him? Yeah. You just jumped out the window, motherfucker. You, you expect me to know that I have to go steal a car now? Instead of, like, having positive reinforcement? Yeah. He job. is still 18 years old, and he looks up to you as a father. Like I said, I think Obi-Wan's the real prick here. They, sort of like, an, they show he's an alcoholic later but, in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he downs that shit. Like a real single father. Like they're priests. Yeah. I think priests drink, though. They get hammered. Oh, dude, one uh, time at my church, this priest got so fucking drunk, he blacked out on the dance floor and, like, literally fucking knocked the fuck out. It was hilarious. Really? Yeah. The other fucking people had to carry him out. Fucking. So priests can put fucking party down. Yeah. And Obi-Wan's all about that shit. And, much like a real fucking single father... <laughs> He's so well, over, overly tough on his kid because of his own fucking faults. Right? That's what I really think it is. And like I said, when they showed Qui-Gon, they showed he was like a defiant prick. And he was always trying to like Qui-Gon call out Qui-Gon. An asshole. But see, I think where Qui-Gon differed from Obi-Wan is Qui-Gon kind of let Obi know, like, bro, I know. So, like, you want to keep being defiant, go ahead. But, like, you can fucking dip. Yeah. And I think Obi-Wan was always trying to, like, push Anakin the right way but he just he, I mean even Anakin said he's like he's fucking overly critical he's always talking shit he's like overly fuck. critical <laughs> he likes to look at my penis <laughs> he talks about how small it is he never lets me do anything right and um Palpatine licks the balls when well, you see Anakin is just a fucking puss hound bro he is horny as <laughs> fuck that's all that drives Anakin in this movie Anakin this is, is super puss hound <laughs> <laughs> bro, he um, can't handle the Jedi life. He needed pussy, bro. Some, some, I was gonna. Some people can't. Some guys can't handle that, like not getting pussy for a while. Like he just was probably losing. And his he fucking never life. got it. And he all, but he's probably having wet dreams every morning. What dreams? That's about why his... he has to wear dark clothes. Is that why he talks <sighs> about his mom so much? I saw my mother. She's suffering, Padme. I don't know. Like he's having wet dreams about his mom. Maybe. But yeah, so anyway, so he screws <laughs> as uh, Obi-Wan Sorry. fails. And like you said, he just, it's Obi-Wan talking shit. Like, oh, finally, you uh, fucking bitch. Like, what the hell? And even Anakin, and like Anakin's, the, the girl's getting away. The 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 chameleon's getting away. Chameleon there. She goes through the fucking tunnel, and apparently they can't enter it or whatever the fuck. And Anakin's like, yo, I know a shortcut. Right? Uh... And Obi-Wan's like, all right, I guess. Goes along with it. Anakin apparently fucks up. And then Obi-Wan's like, well, they lost her apparently. And Anakin's like, I'm sorry. Like, he said I'm sorry. And he was genuinely sorry. And Obi-Wan's like, oh, nice shortcut, you fucking little asshole. Yeah, he's like, you got us lost again. Jesus Christ, dude. And then he's like, excuse me, sir. I got to jump out of a fucking car right now. Yeah, Anakin does some dope shit. And Obi-Wan's just like... Fuck, I hate this kid. Right? Um, Every moment he's like, fuck you, Qui-Gon. Well, you hear Qui-Gon's voice in this movie. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, so they find her again, or he he lands on her fucking ship, crashes her ship, and they're near this cool-ass like bar scene. Sort of old-school Star Wars at this point. Well, now. it's a legit like, allegory, because, well, you know, they, he's, <laughs> he goes for a drink. Fucking Obi Wan, he's like, you hit ha- again. Obi Wan in a bar, he's like, you handle this shit. I'll be over here getting fucked up, right? And some dudes tries to sell him hair on at the moment. You're like, as Obi Wan, the way he looks, he might accept this right now. <laughs> he does have guys, that mullet. Then, fucking... But then they do the one funny thing in this movie. Hmm. The guy's like, hey man, I sell you some death heroin. And how dope is Star Wars drugs? They're called death sticks. Well, yeah, because they that shit must get you, you fucking high as fuck. Is that like a tie stick? <laughs> I 
I don't know. He tried to get his full some death sticks, and Obi-Wan's like, go home and rethink your life. Stop selling drugs. Stop selling them to kids. And then, I know it's legal in Star Wars somehow, so you can do anything, anywhere, at any point. But it looks like a cigarette source. Are they just that smart? They're like, bro, tobacco's illegal. Oh, uh, I guess. That's kind of whack. If that, that was be, the case. It would be. But then Obi-Wan, you know, they try to build up tension like fucking, what's his face? Uh, Anakin's getting followed. Then Obi-Wan, is this, how many times now has he cut someone's hand off in a bar? <laughs> like. No, that was, that was Obi-Wan in the old ones. Yeah. It was, yeah. So what is he just. I think that's just his go-to move. It's just to be an alcoholic and kill somebody. That's probably what he did his whole fucking life. They've shown Jedi's cut the front of guns off before, like the barrels of guns yeah. they don't work, but he just goes straight for the hand. Yeah. He's an asshole. And and they go outside in their fucking CGI background and uh, <laughs> try and interrogate the chameleon. And she said, yo, I'm riding dirty, but I'm never snitching. That's for sure. And Jango Fett just caps her from a mile away with this fucking... The Camino dart. dart. The Camino, Camino dart. The cl- it's a cloner's dart. <laughs> we'll get to that. But, uh, yeah, and that's when you start seeing Anakin being a crazy fuck. He starts losing his shit. He's like, where are they? Ugh, he'll make me stab you with my rat tail. It's like, where are the drugs going? Um, and no. then they go to the Jedi can- or Then they go to the Jedi Council, and they're circle jerking as usual, just fucking thinking about how they're going to fuck each other. That's what they do. Since they can't fuck each other, they just sit in a circle and think about it. That's what the, it seems like that's what they think about. And apparently yeah. there's not too many girl Jedis because it's a bunch of old fucks on the fucking Jedi well, council. Well, if they are girls, they're like these weird alien chicks with tumors and shit. Yeah, why so. can't there just be like a really hot Jedi? Right? I don't know. That doesn't exist in the George Lucas world because he'd rather fuck aliens. Well, because George Lucas is an alien. <laughs> oh, fucking, he looks ridiculous. He created a space soap opera. He did, because he's fucking weirdo. <laughs> he made Skywalker Ranch like he was Luke Skywalker. And apparently Luke Skywalker would own a ranch. And and here's my bigger question. Why did they send Anakin in his first mission in a time of crisis where a senator, a senator, is being threatened and attempted assassinations? Do you send a fucking Padawan who hasn't even gone through the Jedi trials on his first assignment as if y'all don't have enough experienced Jedis to handle that shit. How fucking stupid are they? Well, it seems like they go on like sort of a, uh, depends on who's here system. It's like, well, they but just they had came back. 12 other motherfuckers. Well, and yeah, no one else was doing ship of circle jerking. Those 12 motherfuckers got to sit there. <laughs> like they make the What decisions. happened to the conehead guy? Um, he was... Oh, he had to, he had to be on the Conehead set at yeah. that point. He was, he yeah. was getting into some family business with the Coneheads. That's, yeah, I, I don't know. And then, and then she does something stupid also. Um, oh, well, the, 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 this was funny. It's like me and you were watching this movie and I was telling you like, Obi-Wan, I, f- I don't fuck with Obi-Wan the way he's being to Anakin. And then finally Mace Windu and Yoda, Obi-Wan, the little, being the little bitch he is sometimes by Anakin, uh, sits there and... He's like, man, should we trust this cat? Like, he's too young. I've been with him for 16 years. You know? Can your purple lightsaber and your fucking Filipino ass fucking tell me what's up? Yeah. And, and well, and Mace Windu and Yoda kind of yoke them and kind of yokes him. And they're basically like, bro, he's got talent. Yeah. Like, if, if, if he can handle the shit you put him through because you're sort of a scumbag and an impulsive motherfucker, he can handle this assignment. Well, what pisses me off, though, about them is they've proven, like, as fucking right as you think that these Master Jedis are, they play into every fucking trap. Right? Like, so if anything, Obi-Wan's the But they said, remember, the dark side's clouding the force, the iCloud force, yeah. Yeah. I can't download my apps now. The fucking dark side is in the iCloud. No, but, so, you're telling me that Obi-Wan's the only one running off common sense here and no one listens to him? Even though he is sort of an asshole and a whiny bitch, he gets it. He knows something's wrong. He starts piecing it together, and they're like, the Jedis are just fucking assholes about it. Especially with sending fucking Anakin alone. Right? It's weird. And then Jar Jar, she she appoints Jar Jar as her senator. I know. The last moronic move of that fucking sequence of scenes. 
And I literally was Padme making Jar Jar Binks, the Rastafarian alien, whatever, whatever the fuck person, is. whatever they tried to make him. Uh, that could only the only thing he could do is like pee energy balls. <laughs> he has blue energy, energy kidney balls, stones. And he energy fucking, blue balls. She makes him senator. And I literally. I just want to know what he if he is not my theory of being a dark lord. What is he doing? Where motherfuckers are taking him seriously. He's selling them drugs. I That's think all so. it is. He's the drug supplier. Well, that and they made the Gungans and the Nabooians. I don't know what the fuck they are, but now they come on the planet where I think the Gungans used to be like. So why not the fat guy? Why not him? Well, because he's the king. They, they need a senator. Or he's probably just more of an idiot. Than well, Jar is. I wrote in my notes that it was a, like I literally put a good thing Jar Jar is staying behind, or else this movie would really suck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I'm not But mad. even worse, for the plot, Jar Jar's the senator. Well, Senator Banks. Uh, and then that's Senator. when that's He's... when Annie's having another bitch fit. Annie! That's when Annie's having another bitch fit. <laughs> Smoke this blunt, Annie. Um, and, and Padme's, like, not even paying attention. She's like, dude, can I, like, pack my shit without you fucking crying like a little whore. Yeah, she keeps walking like, back looking at him like she's not really... She's like, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Obi-Wan's a prick, I get it, all right. He won't you, even let yeah. me have my own lightsaber. This is technically Even though I his. keep ruining them. Yeah. He used to keep fucking buying meth crystals from Jar Jar Binks so I can make it. Oh. Yeah, I don't... It's I mean, like... I guess uh, it's not like Harry Potter where it's hard to replace. Even right? though he says this is the most important thing in your life. I just think that Obi Wan's leadership is just making him a jackass. That's that's what I think. It is. I think it's more Obi Wan's leadership. And then, well, literally when they're leaving, Obi Wan's like, "Bro, you better not fuck this up." <laughs> well, this is after when he gives his whole bitch fit to Padme. Padme turns around. He's like, he like looks at her. She's like, "Don't look at me that way." He's like, "Why not?" Yeah, he makes a weird <laughs> thing. And she like walks away. Then he gives her the super rapey look, like this fucking crazy rapey like, look. Oh, it creeps you out, baby. Yeah, yeah. That turns me on. It's gonna creep you out when I show you these nuts. <laughs> My little nut. He probably has hairless nuts. A little fucking bitch. Well, they're full, tail. full of midichlorians. Um, but yeah, at was... the same time, they were right to get the killer because Anakin was sort of right about that. That they should get the person that was attempting the kill. Well, they that try. was what they did, anyways. Well, it's what it led to. Yeah. So, um, so they send Annie alone, and like Obi kind of looks at uh, this another Samoan fucking guy this M. Bison. that looks like M. Bison. He fucking he tell he kind of looks at her. He's like, "Oh man, I sure hope Anakin doesn't use that boner and rape her." I'd and, be more worried about her. Yeah, she's a whore. She just fucking sucked my dick right before she got on board with him. And then uh, Obi Wan goes and visits the uh, fat cook. Cook. He's a cook who apparently used to be like a bounty hunter or something because yeah. he seems to know his shit. Yeah. He's like, oh, a Camino dot. I remember I used this to circumcise my son. <laughs> He's like, I took the poison out. I just like the shape of the dart. Um, and he tells him about Camino. And then Obi goes to the Jedi library, and I want you to take this part. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, yeah. like, looking for the planet Camino. Yeah, he's like, he goes up, he's like, excuse me, but I noticed that I couldn't find this planet, and, and my, my information is, is fairly reliable. And she goes, <laughs> if it's not in the library, then it doesn't exist. And she walks some, away. Some straight-up dickhead, like, Jedi shit to say, right? Right. Because that's what they did. They, they, to them, if they don't know it, it doesn't exist. Well, they know yeah. everything about the world. Yeah, but... Even I mean, though they stay in their fucking circle jerk for 12 fucking years. So he has And they to... can't understand there's a Dark Lord running the shit that's actually running your world. And that you're just the bodyguards for the fucking Republic. When so are they going to figure that out? Essentially, out? they're the bodyguards for the Dark Lord. For the Dark Lord. Fuck. That's how whack the Jedi are. The what I... The, the what I... The Jedi are whack. Because think about it. Every person that turns to the dark side, they fuck with it. Well, Except for Darth Vader at the end because his son was at the... Like, because think about it. Luke had the easiest come up as far as, like, a Jedi. Yeah. Luke just, like, just got, like, an on-the-site, like, crash course on how to be a Jedi. He had to fucking stand on his head while Yoda was standing on his boner. Yeah. And they and, sh- and that was it. That's what he learned. And Yoda... Li- even when Yoda was like, dude, lift the ship. Luke didn't even lift it. He's like, I give up. I'm just going to smoke my bowl. And fuck- <laughs> And fucking Yoda lifts it. Like a real stoner, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, but and then that's they sh- what I liked about the old Star Wars well, was that Luke was just this whiny pothead, but Anakin was just like a whiny bitch, and Oof. you couldn't like handle after a while. Yeah, Luke got a crash course, and this one they show you, especially in the next scene when Obi Wan has to talk to Yoda, that the Jedi are just irresponsible enough to give like five year olds lightsabers and shoot lasers at them. <laughs> Right? Because they're the younglings. And and then they show Anakin really trying to make moves on Padme. It's cops. Cops. Fucking police. They're coming to raid. Coming straight from the underground. Um. Yeah, there's cops in our neighborhood going on. They're probably trying to vacate the flood that's about to fucking happen. Yeah, because we're about to get ripped by the Pineapple Express. That's a real thing, it's the real name the of it. It um, comes from Hawaii. The one I dude told me about it. So Ann, uh, Annie and Padme have their broke boy meal at this grimy ass restaurant. It, and she doesn't like really bother to like. And Anakin's gay. I think that's the shit. I think he's gay. Well, yeah. He might like a lady, but I think he's secretly gay. Well, because he, he all he does is whine. <laughs> he just fucking complains. Because every scene with him and her, he complains. I think even gay. I think even whiny gay people would be like, "Bro, you're a fuck. Like, stop being a little bitch. Stop being a bitch." Like, why does he have to keep, like, oh, my God, bro. When they show that and then them, the next scene or whatever, not the next scene, but their next scene together after yeah. they eat at this shitty restaurant, Anakin, again, being a little bitch. Like, bro, let the pussy come to you. Yeah. Like, why do you have to fucking be so He's weird? trying to force it, too. I know. I get it. She's hot and she's powerful. You yeah. Know, that could be seducing. But she's sitting there with the stone face and you look like the creep. Please don't look at me like that. Why not? It makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and well, so, the, so, so that's true. They fuck. Their relationship is really fucking weird. He's yeah. pushing himself on her. Yeah, he manipulates her. He well, uses the dark side to. Mani- I think he did. I think he manipulated her. It's possible. Because I think at first she was literally like, nah, like, I'm good. Like, yeah, you're kind of cute now. And that rat tail, like, I, something about it's turning me on. <laughs> But I don't fuck with you like that. No, I don't think she does. And eventually she does. It was really I think flat. she does because she doesn't get any dick. She's a senator. Well, Everyone's she... protecting her from guys offering her dick. So uh, why not fuck a Jedi? That might be the most powerful. That's right. And especially <laughs> now. Like... That would be way more entertaining because this is the part of the movie oh, God. where shit just gets fucking boring. Yoda's like, oh, the planet was erased. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he agrees with it. And then... He doesn't really act. He acts sort of blasé about it, and yeah. even Obi Wan pulls him a, 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 like away. Like, who could like, erase that, bro? You need to think about this. And Obi Wan, or not Obi Wan, Yoda's. Bro, like, that's funny. What you're saying? Because mm-hmm. I wrote in the notes, Yoda seems pissed but not too bothered. Yeah, he's like, this like, is disturbing. <laughs> I guess. But. <laughs> that's because he's a Jedi. He can't be emotional. He's like, I'll think on it. I'll think on it. Uh, and Obi Wan's like, okay, <laughs> I'll go do what I was gonna do then. Yeah. And he fucking does it. It's not really that hard of a task for him to complete because he finds the fucking planet. Yeah, he just said go in the gravity pool and you'll find it. You yeah. jackass. And then Obi-Wan's it's like, all right. And then they, they it's show. It's a ball of water. It's a giant <laughs> ball of water. It is. It's all. I don't um, get it. There has to be land, right? Somewhere. I'm telling you, that's the planets, bro. That's just every planet. Every planet. Everything just in the water revolved around the water. <laughs> And uh, that that's when you see Anakin and them go to um, Anakin and them Anakin and pa- well and them but R two D two Anakin and Padme go uh, to her home town <laughs> her hometown Naboo or not yeah. Naboo was it Naboo or is it Tatooine no Tatooine is his him him Naboo she's is her. Naboo and that's when you meet the Indian um, Queen Queen Amidala and, and and Padme tries to be like yo let me do security and Anakin straight up is like. Hey man, I'm in charge of security. She's like, "Excuse me." Yeah, let she's, me flail my rat tail around. Uh, uh. And she's like, "Bro, this is my hometown. I know everything about it." He's like, "Oh, I fucking guess." But you better <laughs> suck my dick later, right? Um, and then Obi Wan goes to Camino. Yeah, and oh. he meets the spliced fucking people of Camino who sit like, in giant heroin spoons. Right? They look so whack. They're just really they're stretched like, out. Oh. I don't get I, it. Yeah. I, you, you can't even really say they're Asians because they have huge eyes. Well, they talk sort of normal, too. Yeah. And they and show apparently them. they just fuck with money. Like, anything yeah. revolves around money. Straight so I money. don't even know if I can hate on them. So that's pretty real. 
He was like, um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that he died. Do you still want to buy all yeah. these clones? No, not still. She was like, we got the clones for you, so what's good? Because you're fucking, you know, triple-A baseball player <laughs> Diaz. <laughs> Ordered some shit. Right, yeah, yeah, fucking, what was his name? I don't know. Siphon Diaz? And this is where we meet um, all the all the Polynesian clones interacting with each other. And them just all having snarls. They're all snarls. Django Fett. Docile. Well, then, yeah, then you meet Django Fett. No. That was after the blackest scene in the history (laughs) of Star Wars. Because he rides a jelly bean. No, not even that one. Mm. There's one before that, remember? You're right. Where she's like, oh, I used to live by the water, like... (laughs) Like every other fucking planet in Star Wars. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. And then out of nowhere, Anakin's just like, I don't like sand. Yeah, he's like, it's, it's coarse. coarse. He gets everywhere in my pee hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then he swoops for a kiss. And he actually does get one. After he like fucking, you know, inappropriately touches her. When she's sort of like, dude, can you stop? Oh, yeah, because like... he's like, I like things that are soft. And he's like rubbing her shoulder blade or something. And she looks at he's him like, a fucking dude, what dog. the fuck? <laughs> But then she gives in. So he's a manipul- he, what if he used the force <clears throat> to do that to her, bro? I mean, it's not unheard of. I guess you could, because you see in the. Can you make movies. somebody love you? No, but you can make them do what you want. They say it only works on weak-minded people, but if in the moment, I guess. She's well, Padme weak. is kind of weak. Like well, she, she, she kegels up the last two movies. <laughs> Phantom Menace is strong. Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. She kegels Wouldn't up. Kegel imply that you're making it stronger. Well, she, I mean, she's pussying up. Mm. Keep going. Fuck you. Trying to call me out on that shit. Uh, yeah, she's like, I don't like water. He doesn't like sand. Whatever. They kiss all that whack shit. God, I don't even and, like. I like. Uh, oh God, I fucking hate this movie. And then we see. Uh, that's what I'm saying. And then we find out that uh, Django Fett. So LB One got lucky as fuck. Yeah. Right? He's like, wait, where'd you get the shit from? Oh, Django Fett. How the funny does Obi-Wan say Django? He's like, Django Fett. He's like, they are using a bounty hunter named Django Fett to create a clone army. Uh, and then we go into the second wackest scene ever in Star Wars. Where he rides the giant tick. Where, well, they first like roll around with each other after Anakin says, like, maybe the wor- maybe the actually worse than the well, sand line. He predicts line. his he's own like, future. No, he's such an idiot. He's like, well, this is what politicians should do. They should sit down, find out what's best for the people, and decide that. And Padme sort of looks at him. He's like, dude, what the fuck do you think we do, you fucking idiot? Like, Yeah, she's what like, do you- people don't agree with each other most of the time. And he's like, oh, make them. My she's rat like, tail will do it all. <laughs> she's like, you're going to do it? That's a dictatorship. He's like, if it works, it works, bitch. Yep, now let me eat that pussy. He's like, I got that and pimp game. That's my dictatorship. And he rides the tick, like you said. And they frolic around. And you kind of imply they might have fucked right there on the daffodils. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we go into the most Sam- uh, Samoan character, which is Jango Fett's little son. Right. Like, why did they have to give it? I mean, Jango Fett doesn't have that accent. So where did that accent come from? Jango Fett sounds like a normal American ass. Jango like, Fett sounded still sort of like British. No, I mean the other kid sounded like Samoan, bro. Yeah. He sounded like you got Poly- to get him, daddy. <laughs> and he and he's, he's like, like, oh, dad, turn we here, hiya. <laughs> and he's like, turn we here, go away, son. And he has just this thug ass look on his face the All whole time. time Obi Wan comes he's in, stink he's, fuck face. And uh, Obi. And that, that that was a good interaction. Everything about Jango Fett versus Obi Wan was great. He's like, bro, you ever been to my planet before, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, he's, the way they talk to each other. He's like, like nah, who cares maybe. if the Caminos know what's going on? Who yeah. cares? He's like, yo, yeah. you come to my turf? <laughs> I seen you, motherfucker. He's like, maybe I guess, like, yeah, but for real. No, no, no. He does not do that. He walks up into Obi Wan's face as if he's gonna fight this fool, That's and he's right. like, nah, never heard of it. Bruh. No, he says like <laughs> maybe Obi- like once or twice. He's like recently. He's like, I don't know, motherfucker. Yeah. And then Obi Wan's like, oh, so you've been playing baseball with Diaz? Huh? Yeah. And then, yeah, he's fucking, like, the Django Fett's like, nah, bruh. Oh. I got it from some dude named Lord Tyrannus. Hope you like that fucking army of yours. 
you bitch. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> bro, some dude with little tiny arms, they called him, like, Tyrannosaurus, Lord Tyrannosaurus. He came up, he gave me some shit, I fucking was like, man, I could flip that for some trade toe, bro. Yeah, because Django Fetch is all about chips. Well, yeah. You can't hate on a dude for that. He's getting there, sitting there getting paid for jerking off into cups and yep. creating a clone army. That's what I wrote. I wrote, he, he gets paid to use DNA. Pretty much. It's real. I'd take that job in a hurry. And then I get to be a smuggling fucking scumbag God, and, for, uh, on, on the side. That's and, the shit. But and as, I get a free place, place to live, like, in seclusion, in the water, with people who are chipped out. Yeah, who will probably protect me. And I get all the me. King's Hawaiian rolls and Spam and pineapple I want. Right, and you know they're going to protect him. He's surrounded by an army. Like, so if anyone funks with him, they pretty much funk with their investment. You got some clone troopers coming at you. But, and, and see, this is why I hated the move. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say probably the same thing you were, because as they're building tension, cuts into some more oh bullshit. Oh, my God, that is exactly what I was going to say. Exactly what I was going to say. Maybe we're circle jerking each other in the fucking Jedi, like the Jedi. Yeah, well, Just know what each other are fucking thinking. <laughs> Sitting around circle jerking, bro. Because that's the, what's true. It goes the, back to some terrible love uh, scene again. Oh, my God. Oh, it's cut like, this right when you get interested, you're like, oh, shit, some shit's about to really go down. It's about to be a race war right now. And, uh... <laughs> and uh, then Obi Wan wants to float a pair around and rub it on her titties and shit. You mean Anakin? Anakin. Obi Wan. Well, Obi Wan's thinking about Padme's titties too. Probably. That's not... He was thinking about it like ten years ago, right? When she was sixteen, because um, he's a weirdo. And then they have this weird ass discussion, like really weird. And he's just a horn dog in a fucking cornball, right? He's like, he's, uh, he's like Obi Wan would be so mad at me if I fucking <laughs> so I was saw flaying a pair around. I was, I'm just cutting a pair and flowing out. Hey, I'm just gonna wink my eyes and look how your pussy feels. Mm. Mm. Right? Uh, and, and that's literally where he goes, like, she's like, we can be together. And he's like, no, dude, we fucking can't. Well, they just decide because they're so fucking important that they can't be together for the world's sake. Yeah, she's like, it's, I'm a uh, senator and you're a Jedi. Okay. Actually, that makes sort of sense. That would be the the goings on. Other than the fact that you have a rule where you can't get pussy. Shit. Priests, you could argue that, bro, I was eight years old <laughs> when I did that shit, like. As far as I'm concerned, I can have a lady. Right. Some priests have ladies. Demote your Jedi shit. You already know the fucking Jedi ways. Well, apparently, Just be like, fine, I won't be a Jedi then. I'll have a bitch. They shouted out earlier in the movie, too, like, you know, Count Dooku couldn't be evil because he used to be a Jedi. A great point. When Padme said it was Dooku, in the first minute of the movie, Mace Windu's like, nah, bruh, he ain't like that. That's my to, homie. He used to be one of us. But it's like, bro, why did you leave? Right. They don't ever get into that. So that's odd. Yeah, that's a good point. And um, he's like, well, keep it a secret. <laughs> and she's like, bro, fuck this. I'm out. And then that's the whole scene of, like, Obi-Wan having his fucking um, projection uh, telling Yoda. And oh, yeah. The clone army. We got a clone army. Um, some Camino. person named Django Fett. I am Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Anakin Skywalker of Coruscant. Um, yeah, so... And then Anakin's having nightmares about his mom again. And it's just like, oh, God, he's just being a bitch, as yeah. usual. He's but like, he's, not he's, he's not wrong. He's not wrong, wrong this time, but he's like, I gotta help mama. That would suck. <laughs> that would suck if I'm having dreams of my mom getting raped and abused by fucking Tuscan Middle Eastern-looking motherfuckers. By the Tuscan like, Raiders, yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I think I'd be cool off that. I'd probably be heated, too. And uh, I don't think he knows about Papa Lars yet, though. So he pops away from his assignment, and they go to his planet. And Well, um, no, she... Well, yeah, this is what's weird. Because at this point, he's like, I got to go help my mom, um, you know, so I, I got to leave. And she's like, okay, I guess I'll go with you. But then later on, when he's going to go save Obi-Wan, he's like, no, we need to stay the fuck here. And she's like, well, no, I'm going to say we have They're to. They're codependent. Leave. They kind of show that. They both aren't good for each other. They keep fucking up together. Everything Padme wants to do is fucked up. And everything Anakin wants to do, fuck shit up. <laughs> it's true. Um, and then the best, maybe one of the best fights in a Star Wars movie, which really disappointed me why I hated this movie, was the Obi-Wan Jango Fett fight. Dude, that shit was raw. Well, it became straight karate at one point. Because they were hand fighting. Yeah, he... He kicks Jango Fett. And how raw is Jango Fett? Jango Fett's I mean, he's raw. he's going toe-to-toe with, like, a top-tier Jedi. 
right? With a fucking weird Spider-Man rocket launch. That was that an shit interesting was scene. Um, and and he, you're right. He does this video game jump kick. Just yeah. knocks the fuck out of Jango Fett. And, like, that's how he gets his fucking back, or his backpack, his jetpack blown off. And so then, like, yeah, that fight was fucking sick. And I like at the end of it how they show fucking Obi-Wan doing some weird fucking acrobatic, like, Indiana Jones shit. <laughs> Which is the force. Yeah. You can just Oh, like when he grabbed... The, like, the wire, wire or whatever yeah. the fuck it is. And midair takes it off his hand and then repurposes it so that he can grapple onto something. That shit was raw. That's the fucking force. Um, yeah, that was great. And then so... Uh, and It was just a good fight. And then uh, Jango Fett gets away. And Anakin's... Uh, and, and then they show up um, to his planet and the, the, the auto-tune robot fucking Will I Am. Yeah. Is there a rickshaw? Uh, and then they they talk to Watto. And you, I love Watto, dude. He's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, because he's straight he's just a, he's a dirty Middle Eastern merchant. Because what, what he is he's like he's like from every movie. He's the classic character from every movie. And the moment he's like, oh shit, a Jedi warrior. Wait, you're Anakin Skywalker. Hey man, you think you can help <laughs> me beat up some fools that owe me money? I got some beepers for you too. Yeah, motherfucker, if you need it. He's like, all right, all right, all right. I'll Sorry, I had to get rid of your slave mom. She was yeah. costing me money. He's like, yo, money, money, motherfucker. And I sold her to some fucking fat dude out in the desert. He's probably raping her. I don't know. Right? And then he's, and then Anakin's like, bitch, you better find out who fucking married my mom. And he's where like, he oh, fuck, okay. And then, then they go into the astral field. As Obi Wan is chasing after, or no, they don't go in that. They're, he's chasing after Django still, and Django Fett apparently goes into an astro field, and then throws seismic bombs to blow up the asteroid. Yeah, that is that not a risky move for himself? I Probably. mean, I know he's sort of an idiot and a scumbag and doesn't care, but you have your kid who's yourself. Like he's your actual bloodline. It's an actual, he's your it's a actual paradox. bloodline. Yeah, it's a paradox. I don't. You'd understand be killing it. yourself twice, <laughs> and and then his son's like, "Dad, fire, fire!" Yeah, right. And then he he like he's just teaching his son to kill people. He's like, "That dude won't fuck with us no more because we clapped his ass." But they right? didn't know that Obi Wan pulled some fucking spy shit and hit on the back of an asteroid. I I don't get it. He seems smart sometimes, and other times he seems completely stupid. Right. And then they, uh, we meet the dude who wifed up Anakin's slaved mom. And he tells her like, he, dude, you know there what was... I didn't get to is like he was like, hey man, the Tuscan Raiders like they came in here and they they just took her and uh, they cut my leg off. We went after him. They cut my leg off, and uh, I'm not gonna be able to go after him again until I heal. Get better. You're going to heal from your leg getting cut off? Well, they show that they got fucking implants. No. They got, like, robot Yeah, that's shit. what I mean, like, implants. Like, robotic How's implants. How's that healing? Well, it healed enough probably to get one. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, I agree. It was a weird scene. He looked like he was too fat to fight any fucking Tusken Raiders. And old. And you see the people that take care of Luke, which made, what made me think, like, wait... That, so that was his Anakin's <clears throat> stepbrother who takes care of Luke. Yeah, who he was treating like a dick. He yeah. said two words to him. And the guy was like, Anakin's leaving after he finds out, you know, his mom's with the Tuscan Raiders. He leaves. Stepbrother's like, bro, where are you going? He's like, to save my mom. Bitch. What right? What are you doing, bitch? But like, what, <laughs> what I don't get is Anakin knew them for like 30 seconds, right? Said they were nice people. Like, they're these are good people. He says that. He trumps it. He's like, no, these are good people. I know these people. Fucking. And then he leaves his child with them. After his mom got captured by Tuscan Raiders at their farm and murdered. He leaves his child with That's these people. That's a good what's point. What, what ends up happening to them? Fucking more Tuscan Raiders. That's true. Sad life to be a moisture farmer, apparently. Well, to talk about sad lives, Anakin's mom's life sucked. From slave? She was enslaved and then raped and abused by Tusken Raiders. That's what I'm that saying. That sucks. And Anakin, another thing, he, he rides his transporter through the fucking desert or whatever the fuck, and it looks so bad, bro. The speeder? And, um... It looks it look it, it looked like a fucking video game at Dave and Buster's. It was a video game at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> I played it. <laughs> and then uh, 
you know, then you find out that Obi Wan was fucking hiding from Jango Fett and goes and finds him, right? Which and this he conveniently is... walks in when Dooku's saying the most important shit. Now we see Dooku. That's what I'm saying. This is where he's stupid to me, though, because he just assumes it's cool. Like, he sees what's going on. He's by himself. He goes back to his ship. He doesn't <clears> fucking <throat> fly away. He just stays there. My first reaction would be to get the fuck up on out of there and get that message there myself. But no. He just lets himself... Because he's an impulsive motherfucker. Yeah, he just lets himself get captured delivering the message about the droid army now. Right? He's like, oh, he's not on fucking Naboo. Where is this dumb motherfucker? I got to transmit a signal. And, and that's the thing, too. Like, Duke, when they have the meeting, when he when he sneaks in on the meeting, like, Duke just sort of yokes everybody into signing a treaty, right? Yeah. And then, is that the whole point of Star Wars? It's just people yoking people into signing treaties? Essentially, I don't happens? even know what the treaties do. They just keep fucking signing They don't signing need to explain them. it to you. It just needs to be used as a plot device to get people's places. Yep. Um, and this is when Anakin meets his mommy. Mama, came back for your mama. And she's he like, jumped like 19 stories yeah, off a fucking cliff. Right, and she's like, Andy, I can't see you, Andy, I see the light. He was on that fucking Guardians of the Galaxy shit. What do you mean? With the mom dying, that was the exact oh, level man. of acting. She was like, you're so pretty. And then she just goes, ugh, and like tilts her head back, and it was so cartoonish. And that's my thing, too, like, do you think... You know, like every other fucking American um, stat, right? <laughs> that Anakin is turns out the way he does because he was fatherless and he couldn't deal with like the death of his mom because that's literally all he had. <clears throat> well, I guess he sort of had her. They didn't let her fucking. He didn't. I guess they don't let you see your parents when you become a Jedi, right? Well, you have shit to lose, I guess. I guess. So it is a gang. Well, because it's look, a gang. Yeah. Well, look what then you happens. You have little boy slaves, <laughs> or and, girls, I guess too. Sometimes. Um, but look what happens when he goes to find his mom. He loses his shit. Murders them all. Murders them all. And granted, they're not people, but he's like, I hate them. <laughs> yeah, these people keep calling. It's Obi Wan's fault. He keeps calling me gay. He's like, he's I'm not gay. Man. He's like, one day I'll be able to rise anyone's dick up. He's like, I'll be, I'll be invincible. Um. And at, at this point, um, at this point, this is when um, Palpatine, they find out about the the droid army from Obi-Wan. Yeah. And they're like, dude, we need to get that clone army. We need to get those Polynesians to work. It needs to happen. And uh, they're like, oh, if we only had a senator to, like, they could sign a treaty that will make a treaty not be a treaty anymore. And then we can make Chancellor, like, the fucking ultimate leader, and he can just decide to make an army. And John- That's how Star Wars works, right? And everyone's like, yeah, let's do it. And then they're and like, then- if only Padme was here. And then Jar Jar Binks is like, ooh, me so smoke a weed and make this decision, eh? Well, because they're, like, essentially doing some, like, social bullying to him. They're like, if Padme were here, she'd handle it. But we just got dumb Jar Jar. He's like, no, I, I should do it. It's muy, muy important. Right? Hella weird. And then they another cut scene, because this movie's choppy as fuck. Uh, and at this point, I'm losing myself. I'm losing myself thinking about it. And uh, Obi-Wan's in his uh, fucking whatever the fuck kind of imprisonment that is. It kind of sucks, actually. Just be kept rolling around in yeah. the air. And Dooku comes in. Yeah, right. They're just sitting there. <laughs> He's, like, on a gyroscope or he something? He might be yakking the whole fucking day. Right? Like, And he's just slowly spinning in a circle. Like, in Dooku... And it's funny, because every time he looks, like, Dooku's walking the opposite side. So he has to keep turning around. <laughs> just to be a That's dick, shit. essentially. Yeah. Well, Dooku um, comes in Dooku, all surprised. Right? He's like, hey, man, what the fuck happened? I'll, I'll order it immediately, bro. I got you. And Obi-Wan being the idiot he is, he's like, I thought you were in charge, you little scumbag. Yeah, he could have just sort of buddied up with him. That I didn't get. You gotta stand tall. No, but that I didn't get about Dooku. Why was he playing it that way? I didn't get it. I don't think... Was he, he trying to get Obi-Wan on the dark side? No, I don't think he knew that Obi-Wan saw him do all that evil shit yet. Oh, okay. So I think that they were just like, okay, well, maybe okay, I can good convince point. him to, to not snitch. Okay. He's like, I'm looking for a bounty hunter, Django Fett. 
Like, no He's one like, that name No one would have a bounty hunter here. We're not fucking... We just have Filipino bugs. He's we like, don't have anything else. Those bugs don't trust bounty hunters. <laughs> um, And then he reveals to... Obi Wan, that oh shit, the reveal of the century. Fucking Darth Sidious is running the Senate. It is with great reluctance that I have agreed to this calling. I love democracy. I love the Republic. The power you give me, I will lay down when this crisis has abated. And as my first act with this new authority, I will create a grand army of the Republic. Yeah. How fucking anticlimactic was that? Well, and and <laughs> as like as he's saying this too, he's making it seem like he's gonna buddy up with fucking Obi Wan and they're gonna take him on together. So I don't know. He was being a dick. And, and then they, and then they go into the Republic scene with the Senate, and oh, when Jar Jar God. brings up that he should be that the Chancellor should be, um, the main per whatever the fucking they What's take it? executive order essentially. What I didn't get is too, he brings it up, right? He brings it up. Then, their vote is just yeah yeah That's yeah. How many say. yeahs are there? Like I, so, I, there's a voice meter in there. I there's a fucking yeah. voice meter. That's what I was going to say, because if you think, like, this happened in the first movie, too. Right. When they were going to give it's over... It's just them going, yeah! Yeah, when they were going to essentially give over power to him again to make him chancellor, it literally presented the idea, and, like, 30 seconds later, they're like, okay, well, only one dude had to say it out loud. I guess he's going to be the chancellor now. Isn't that... Is that is there democracy garbage? I don't get it. Do they have the American Idol little buttons they can hit? I don't get it. And I think even the Jedi are sort of looking at it like, dude, why are we helping these fucking dirtbag politicians? Mace Windu kind of looks at Yoda. He's like, yo, I got that, like, perp. Comes out of my lightsaber. I'm, if you don't want to, fine. I'm going to go smoke with Obi-Wan. You go check out the clones. And Yoda's like, mm, sure. Right? <laughs> and, uh, and then... That's when they show, like, what you were talking about, um, Padme's like, you, we need to go get Obi-Wan. Even though Mace Windu literally just told them, stay there and to protect the senator. She's like, we need to go get Obi-Wan. And Anakin's like, nah, like, for real, I actually got to fucking do it this time. She's like, well, you protecting me, bitch? I'm going to go. So if you want to protect me, protect me there, motherfucker. Yeah, and this is also when the Jedi realize how fucking blind they were. Right? And her uh, plan was stupid. They failed miserably. Yeah, they land in an exhaust vent, which I guess, how do you breathe when you walk out of your ship if that is an exhaust vent of what I'm assuming is like a nuclear factory? And and to make the, the movie more interesting and for kids and stupid, they had to throw R2-D2 oh, and C3-K the fall of... See, I told you, dude, when you start going through the movie, you fucking start really hating... Like, I don't see how the good parts of this movie outshine how fucking does, whack it is. He does start kicking some bug ass and Padme's killing it Mario style. Bug. Bro, it looks like Spy Kids 3D. It does. When she's running through the conveyor belt. It is way too much CGI. It is just like, oh my god. It anally fisted me with CGI. But with that outfit, her nipples were on point. They were. And those weren't CGI, I'll tell you what. Nah. Um, And of course, Anakin breaks his lightsaber trying to kill some bugs. And CPO's being a stiff bitch and gets a head switch. Yeah, Yeah, this is some stupid shit going on. Um, Bro, I thought his hand, that's when his hand got cut off. Apparently I was wrong. That's how long it had been since I saw the movie. That's just his lightsaber, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they get caught, right? And when they take the chariot to death, that's when the other reveal, which is also anticlimactic, of Padme actually loving him back. Right. She finally says it. Well, and he even Anakin's like, her. whoa, whoa. Like, I can't get a boner right now. I don't even get to fuck you before I die. <laughs> and Padme's like, yeah, I love you. He's like, I'll oh, just just suck on my rat tail. Yeah, and they bring, him, do it. <laughs> they bring him out and put him on the fucking minarets. And fucking what's-his-face looks at him like, yeah, good Again, job, fucking in asshole. His ear. Even Anakin looks at him. He's like, I relayed the message. I tried to get you. I'm sorry, master. And Obi-Wan's like, good job. Now, Now you'll know. You'll die that I was disappointed in you. Yeah, and they must <laughs> they must have borrowed some fucking animals from Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Because right. that's what they brought out next. 
And that shit was whack to me, too. I, I mean, just didn't really like it that The much. part that I thought was cool out of that was only the part where she fucking swings around her, like, pillar and kicks that shit out of that thing. Yeah. That part was sick. Everything else sucked of them fighting those beasts. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, uh, and of course, Obi-Wan and Padme are the only ones thinking of an idea to get out. Anakin's like, huh? I'm just going to athletic my... I, that's the thing, too. Like, he's so stupid, but he's so raw. Right. That he just has to react because he it, like, like happens. Jumps and spins a chain around or yeah. the rhino horn at the same time. He didn't he had no plans. No? He had no plan. Obi Wan sort of looked at him like, bro, focus. And Anakin's like, Oh, all right, yeah, I can do a triple flip. I forgot that. <laughs> He's like, Oh yeah, yeah, I have the force. I could probably actually lift this pillar out of the ground if I wanted to. Right? And then the fish head guys are laughing at Patty, like, ho, 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 ho. I told you we would kill Padme. My penis is small and none existed, but I could do it. When they start freaking out, though, and they want to cheat, they're like, shoot her. Get my gun. Shoot her. Yeah. She's like, she is cheating. Of course, the Asian guys are complaining about cheating in a game. But, uh, yeah, and people are just scumbags in Star Wars times, man. And like, so, yeah, they're just going through this. They're fighting like it's then the droid. Then the, so they do actually cheat and send droids out. Yeah. Like they're about to clap The dope them. droids. Yeah. Until Samuel L. Comes yes. to save the day. Yes. And this is when he does his crazy shit. Right? Because he starts basically saying Athletic to him. Athletic as fuck. Yeah, he says to him, he's like, yo, we fucking, we're here. We're, it's done. All the Jedi that we have available are fucking here. Which is sort of a dumb move, I guess. <laughs> but you need to give the fuck up. And it starts showing all the Jedi, like, pop their lightsabers out or whatever. Bro, but, even when Mace Windu killed Jango Fett and the way he did it, Dooku kind of looked at him like, whoa, that's an athlete right there. Yeah. Well, Jango Fett did some shit before that, too, where he shoots the rhino. Yeah. But yeah, but so. But still, what Mace Windu did was raw. Yeah. He literally fucking just walks up to him and was like deflecting all his no, shit. No, he flipped over. No, that's what I'm saying. But at first, he's like running towards him, deflecting like yeah. everything he's shooting and just at. Just chops him. his fucking head off. Yeah. Oh, shit. But yeah, when he shoots the flamethrower at him, when they're standing next to Count Dooku at first. He does, like, a backflip off the fucking box. Right. Gets his jacket off, deflects a couple lasers, lands and just starts thumping. Yeah. Straight up. I wish they just showed more Mace Windu shit, except for, you know, him fighting an old man. Just, like, show it. Let Mace Windu go off, bro. The purple lightsaber's real. It's Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Like, come on. They let Nick Fury go off. Let Mace Windu go off. Well, what's weird and, is, like, some of these fucking uh, Jedi don't seem to be that powerful because you just so see them getting shot. Just shot. By Sh- droids. By droids. Not even Jango. Half, you know what I was thinking, too? Hmm. If they're going to, since the circle jerk is the theme of the Jedi, why don't they all just get in a giant circle jerk and just force all the droids away? How many would you do just by doing that? Probably all of them. <laughs> They started with hella Jedi, bro, and they ended up with, like, 15. Yeah, like, 20 left. And then as they're escaping, like, ships that have, like, two or three Jedi on them are getting fucking blown up. Right. So they're just lost. They're down to, like, seven Jedi at this point. Then Yoda comes through with the clones. The clones. And I'm not going to speak it. about this. Everything C-3PO was shown in that action scene, I'm fucking cool off of it. <laughs> So I'm not going to talk about it. That's the only time I'm going to mention it. I do like when it shows the clones come in and it shows the one dude in, like, the laser ball. And he's, like, shooting a continuous laser stream across all the droids and it's just fucking them up. In the ship. He's, like, oh, in a little yeah, suspended yeah. ball with a laser on it. Um, that shit was sort of raw. And so they get all the Jedi out of there and they're flying. Where, who are they trying to go after? Because I think they retreated, right? Dooku is like, mm, we still got it, right? Yeah, because they're the like, like, no, our droids cannot handle it. We did not make it that way. Unaka. <laughs> we got to get him. That's what that fool says. Our eyes aren't chinky, so we're not Asian. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, they got it? It's him. not racist yet. But yeah, so they fucking... They fucking... No, they're at like the arena and they're retreating to their ships. So the Jedi yeah. are trying to cut them off. <clears throat> and of course, Anakin gets jerked off for saying... Aim at the part where it's most vulnerable, which would obviously be a small part of the fucking... Like the fuselage or yeah. something, right? And he's like, oh, great idea, Anakin, you yeah. fucking genius. And Anakin's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, let me touch myself, too. And then uh, Padme falls off, and Obi-Wan has to yoke him again. And Admin... You know? Anakin's like, I gotta, I can't let her go. I was gonna get the pussy. Right. Now it's gonna be all dried out. She's gonna have sand in her pussy. I can't do it. He's I like, hate sand, I remember? Hate sand. It's coarse, and it gets everywhere. And then Obi-Wan's like, dude, imagine me naked. That's what I've wanted the whole time. 
He's like, what That's do you think? That's why I'm think? so pissed. That's right. He's like, put yourself in her shoes. What would she do if she saw me naked? It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I got you. Uh, and, they go, and I like, and fucking Yoda's like being a general, I guess. And fucking yeah. Samuel L's got his purple lightsaber. Filipino, I am. Lumpia, I like. Take me to the forward command center. You know, the place where the important people stand and don't die. Right? Um, yeah, and just Dooku on a duster looks retarded. Looks stupid. A duster? I called it a duster. <laughs> a transporter. Remember that? A, a duster. duster? It's a fucking speeder. Whatever. Oh, speeder. That's a right. A duster? <laughs> That's how much I don't give a fuck about Star Wars. No, but that yeah. was another... Again, we keep seeing these flying fat old guys in these movies, man, and that might have been the best case of one yet. Yeah. Like, that shit was terrible. And, um... And, you know, obviously, Obi-Wan and Anakin, this is, becomes cool, I guess. But it's not cool enough for what it could be. Anakin and Obi-Wan jump off the ship and they immediately go for Dooku. And you're like, oh, shit, shit's about to go down. What happens... Obi-Wan actually tries to be a good coach, and he's like, you go from the left, and he's like, no, I got him now, and just gets you fucking molly Yeah, and is out. Just molly well, by it's... Dooku's CGI fucking Raiden from Mortal Kombat Lightning. What I like right? about that <clears throat> is that when they land, the moment their ship takes off again without them on it, it blows up. And you can only imagine they turn around, and they're like, ah, fuck it, they're clones. Right? It's sort of weird. And so Obi-Wan tries to go one-on-one with Dooku, right? And he's sort of kicking some And he gets stabbed. Ass. It, it's weird how he got stabbed. So he got hit at first in the arm, and then Dooku's just like, and just like gives like, him like a little poke in his thigh, like, stay down, bitch, and he's about to kill him. And Anakin does the leap of the ear and stops him. He grabs two lightsabers. And, and then you're like, all right, finally, the fight's going to get cool. It's not a CGI old man. Um, <laughs> you know this shit got for Dooku? Hmm. Texas Ranger. Oh, Which shit. made his beard white. He would have done his own stunts. Just like Darth Maul. But we'll, we'll get to that. Whatever, whatever, whatever. CGI fest. This is a CGI fest. And where does it become more of a CGI fest? When Dooku oh. fights Anakin. Anakin wants to turn the lights off so that you can't see the shitty CGI and the crappy action they directed. And they get so crappy... They just to the point where they just show their faces. They just the show their faces, and that's what I was gonna say too. It's like they were like, "We can't even attempt this because we got a dude with two lightsabers just spinning around. This guy's too with a rat tail." F- yeah, this guy's too fucking old to do any of this shit. But apparently, not too old to fight an older Filipino guy. Right. I didn't understand it either. It's like and they wanted scene, to show oh, off. Bro, that Yoda. scene was so bad. Oh god, why did they have to just? Throw shit at each other for a second. He's like, well, apparently our mastery of the force. Let's see. Uh, why don't we do another contest? Whose fingernails are nastier? Who mm-hmm. has the bigger lightsaber? Because mm-hmm. like, mine gets to 12 inches. And so Yoda flips around, and you think this would be cool, but for me, it was boring as fuck. I, mean, I was so bored by that part. I remember being entertained by it as a kid, but as an adult, it is sort of, it is pretty shitty. Um. <clears throat> and then Dooku just sort of dips off. Yeah, it just leaves. Because he, he throws... Because uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin got fucked up in the fight. Like, Dooku just fucked them up. And he, like, throws a thing on them as I, they're laying on the ground. I guess we forgot and, to mention, too, the whole point of Dooku escaping was that he had the plans for the Death Star. Death Star, that's right. From the bug people. Yep. Who apparently built so Death So it was the stars. bug people. It was the Death Star. I cool, don't... Yeah, thanks. so where did, did... Another Asian stereotype. Where did Urso come into this? What did he do? Made the weapon, maybe? I guess. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. And then and then you find out, and then Dooku meets, uh, meets up with Darth Sidious after all this. And that's when you find out that this was all his plan. Yeah, he's like, Dooku, yeah. you're Lord Tyrannosaurus. He fought his own video game. Yeah. Darth Sidious made his own video game. He created a droid army. And created, and created a clone, a clone army, army and fought each he other. He had Asians run a droid army and he made Polynesian clones. Yeah. He just likes to see Asians and Islanders kill each other. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Because he's racist as fuck. And what I do like about, or what I don't like about this movie, 
is the ending because it literally does that. Yoda's like, bro, you think we won, but like this shit literally is just starting. Like, and that was to... Windu and Obi Wan saying we won, and Yoda's yeah. like, look, I got, I, you know, I'm tired of you guys like ranting. I yeah. Need to get this clear. This is the Jedi way. It's over. And so then it shows their giant army, and you hear the fucking the stormtrooper music. So you're like, oh, you know, some bad shit's about yeah. to happen, and they fucking elope. <sighs> Right. Padme and Anakin elope with his weird fucking gold chromed out hand. Yeah, the super squirt hand. Does that make her super squirt? It has like hydraulic fucking finger bang powers or something like that. I don't fucking. Don't get it in sand though. So he'll get all pissed off. And then of course you know? it ends with, da 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 da, and yeah. it's fucking like. And at this Terrible. point, you're like, this ready is my to point. Die. And this is my point about it, bro. Like, like I said, it it's not, <clears throat> it's not the worst movie ever, but. Does there are, like, especially the actions, a majority of the action scenes, they were good. I think if you took out the Yoda thing, I might have been a lot, a lot more satisfied with it. If you took out Yoda fighting. I could agree honestly. with that. Because if you actually, the plot wasn't terrible, but oh my god, all the extra shit he tried to do was just uh, garbage. The love scene, I think if you took that out, it'd be a great movie. And I'm not hating on the love scene, it's just forced. And they made Anakin look like a bitch. Just all of those scenes with him and her alone. Yeah, and 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 he gave a rapey vibe for like an hour and a half. Yeah, he literally said... A stalker rapey vibe. He literally said, she's cool off me looking at her sleep. Right? And then she's like, he looks at her and she's like... Because his balls were on her forehead. Right? She, he looks at her and she's like, don't look at me like that. He's like, why? And she's like, because it creeps me out. And he looks back. He's like, yeah, I know oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, that was the goal, bitch. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I gave it the score I did. I gave it a 3.6. It's number uh, seven on my list. We're not including Rogue One in our ranking as the Star Wars movies yet. Uh, you'll see where it ends up eventually. But go check out that uh, episode 24. On iTunes, on SoundCloud and Stitcher, but iTunes, su- iTunes, subscribe, <laughs> fucking subscribe. subscribe. You'll get the down. Da- you'll get the fucking update to download it, or just put your shit on automatic so you can download our shit. I don't give a fuck if you even listen. And if you do listen, you can tell us on Twitter. You can follow us there at Order of Opinion. Tell us if we're garbage. See our release schedules. Um, that that should be up there, or you can like us on Facebook. Our schedule will be up there too all the release schedules, and all the bullshit that we say. Um, and, you know, if you want to see us talk about America, yeah. if you want to see us talk about fucking uh, What basketball. was your score, by the way? This oh, was number seven on my list. This was number six on my list. I gave it a four. A four. Four. The co-host gave it a four. Yeah. And it was number six, so I wonder what your seven is. I, it was... Um, oh, you don't know, man? You can find our other episodes, too, on iTunes. The whole Marvel Universe... And one, the episodes Harry one through fourteen, and the Harry Potter fifteen through twenty three. We really like that Harry Potter one, so check. It I out. like the Harry Potter one. That. Yeah, that and, um, and that including Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, um, and Rogue One. Yeah, so look out for our release schedule for the rest of the episodes on Star Wars, and uh, like I said, fucking subscribe so you just know when it pops up because we don't do this weekly shit. Can't really do that. We can't have like a, you know. Yeah, we work. Sporadic. We fucking have lives. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so yeah, just look out for that. And like I said, take your time listening to it. Don't think about it like you have to listen to it the day it comes out. So if we drop like three within five days, you think you're fucked. Just go through it and go by the episode number. Yeah, take you know? your time. We're taking our time. We're not trying to rush this shit out for you. And I strongly suggest watching these fucking movies first. Yeah, please, because um, <laughs> uh, otherwise you'll think that you, one, might not even understand what's going on, and uh, two, you'll think it's the worst movie in the world. Even yeah. Even if it's our best movie, you'll probably still think it's terrible. And tell us your opinions on our bullshit or the movies. I know some people don't think Attack of the Clones is the worst one, but I think if you really fucking watch it like that, it's it's at least is the worst one or pretty goddamn close. It's the worst one. I mean... It's, ugh. it's, but it's more watchable. It's number six on your list. I know. See, to you, it's, it's more re- watchable, but to me, it's 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 not. It's I think not in terms of story, it's like the worst one. But in, it to it, to it's me, garbage. it's more rewatchable. It is fucking garbage. Ah. Show me some Mace Windu. Have him fucking floating or have him dunk a basketball. <laughs> With well, they did show some football in the bar. 
Some robot. Oh football. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, what if the Jedi's could play sports? Just, How raw would they be? Because well, they're be... using like the, even if they didn't use the force like physically, mm-hmm. just them knowing they'd be so raw at like picking up plays and making reads and shit like well, that's that. That's because they have the midichlorians, which are basically like if you were born with bull testosterone <laughs> that your body just naturally made. Like that's what that fucking is. Here's what I do want to speak on before we leave, though. Um, is Padme, dude? What the uh, fuck? She really. She did this. it in Thor. She did it in Star Wars. She's ruining movies. <laughs> she's, she's ruining great franchises. She ruined V for Vendetta. <laughs> uh, but she's sexy though. So yeah. Ah, uh, uh, that's my what? She's ruining everything, man. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so like I said, follow us on Twitter, bitches. Yeah. That's my 